All right, guys, hope you're doing good. And listen, today's video is going to be all about how to send 200 prospecting DMs in less than one hour per day and how to supercharge your sales productivity. This is going to be tremendously helpful if you are doing any sort of appointment setting yourself, called up on DMs to, to people in order to book calls. And not only that, of course, primarily if you are building and delegating the appointment setting and prospecting process either to a VA or an appointment setter, this video is going to hands down be the most helpful thing that you will watch this year, I promise. And the best thing is that all of this is going to be using free software, aka you don't need to pay a single penny in order to actually install this into your client acquisition or sales process and without getting banned on social media platforms or sounding robotic with your prospects. And I, and I know this sounds super good to be true, but trust me, by the end of this video, you're going to know how to apply this in your company, okay? And well, in case that you are not, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, on Twitter. You can you can get the document that I'm using by joining my free Facebook group that you will find with the link in the description. Or in case that you don't really use Facebook that much, you can just go and follow me on Instagram and DM me the word access and I will be sending this your way right off the bat. Okay, guys? Last thing, make sure to watch this video to access it so that you can save yourself a lot of time. Okay, guys? The first thing that I want to mention is that I like to think of these tools as supercharged sales productivity and the use cases go way beyond simply making your prospecting faster and easier. Okay? That said, of course, for the sake of this video, we'll focus specifically on how me and my team use this in the prospecting and appointment setting process. But again, you will see at the end, there are so many use cases outside of just prospecting that I just want you to know that this exists, okay? And honestly, a single $3 per hour VA can send 100 to 200 upbound DMs per day in approximately two to three hours leveraging in these tools. So I mean that you can reduce cost while at the same time increase the inputs that you are putting through your um, marketing and sales efforts, okay? Of course, this is assuming that you have the SOPs in place, okay? And the only things that you will need, again, these are all free tools. You don't need to pay me a single cent in order to do this. What you will need is if you have a Mac computer or a laptop, Raycast, okay? I actually use Raycast because, well, I have a Mac computer. And if you don't have a Mac computer, you, you, you want to use TextBlaze. These two tools have pretty much the same function. The only difference is that Raycast allows you to create some snippets that you can use as shortcuts to create bigger text and you can move faster. But at the same time, you can see Raycast is this tool that you see here, allows you to move between one tool to the other. Meaning that, for example, let's say that you want to go to Spotify, boom, you can immediately go to Spotify. Or let's say you want to go to Google, boom, you can immediately go to Google. Not only that, you can, for example, let's say you want to search something on Google, you can just open this and search here, I don't know, who is Enrique Aquiles, for example. Let's see if I appear. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I appear, cool. Um, yeah, hopefully you get my point, guys. That, that's the cool thing about Raycast, that outside of creating snippets, they also help you um, basically move around your computer without needing to use your manual efforts. And TextBlitz is, is just creating shortcuts that create bigger text, okay? Now, the good thing about TextBlitz is that you can share the same shortcuts across your entire team, which makes it easier to rapidly change the scripts and the angles as you go by, okay? It will just show you how we use this specifically, how you can apply this in your agency or coaching or consulting business, okay? Or whatever sort of business you're running for that reason, but you guys typically, my audience are agencies, coaches, etc. okay? Now, this is optional, but if you are looking to become the bulldog of your market, I want you to use the Paste app, okay? The Paste app is basically a clip manager to keep all of your frequently used shortcuts or copy-paste history in a single place to make everything easier. This one is not free. This is the only one that is not. Sorry about that. But it's like $15 per year or something. So if you press Option Command V, what you're going to notice is that you can see all of your history. You can see all of your history is going to be here. But not only that, guys, the beauty is that, again, this was mostly when I was doing the appointment setting myself. But you can see here that you can have like tabs or saved things in here. So for example, let's say that you have, I don't know, what I used to do is that I had my YouTube tab, so whatever video I wanted to, I typically used to send to my prospects, I just have them safe in here so that, and I can name them so that I know that I can just copy paste this, boom, I can now paste the video here, you see? Or for example, with cold email. You see, there are some things that I used to do a lot on, on cold email, so I can save them in here. Also for, for example, the branding colors, or the reoffers or appointment setting. You see, like, there are some things I normally say to the prospects once they are about to book a call that I can just immediately be like, okay, so appointment setting, and they go and, and say, one, copy paste, two, copy paste, three, copy paste, four, copy paste, you see? So it's just, it allows me to move fast. That out of the way, I just want to do a really quick demo on each of these apps so that you can see how it works. So for example, Raycast, you can see, it's only for Mac. Pricing, you go to pricing, you see it's free. Of course, there are some paid options, but you really need it. And even for your team, um, it's free, right? 
And again, I, the cool thing is that outside of just doing the snippets, it allows you to do more stuff. Now text-based, this one is also free. And it's just a Chrome extension, but you see, basically it allows you to change your text, okay? But again, the, the core functionality is literally the same thing. Right now that I'm going to start doing some examples of how you can use this, the same thing can apply for both of them. That's it, guys. And by the way, sorry if this video is a little bit less edited than typical videos of mine. The thing is that uh, I'm just, I just hop off from a coaching call with my clients. I have a lot of calls packed for today, so I just want to make sure that I can take the timing and record a video for you guys and show some love. That said, um, also just a side note and a nice story. Now that I mentioned that you might want to become the bulldog of your market, you know, my dog is a bulldog and he's turning one year old today. Uh, yeah, shout out to my dog. Let's continue with the video. So here are the main types of messages that you can add to your shortcuts, okay? And listen, I'm not going to be talking about what specific messages or angles to use. This is going to be mostly about how you can supercharge the process and save yourself hours of time every single day by applying these different scenarios. So the, the first type of messages that you can automate are the initial conversation starters, okay? These are the first messages that you send to a new prospect whatsoever. And I want you to think about them, for example, the cold, pro the cold DMs that you send to prospects on social media when they don't know you. And I mean, I don't have a shortcut for that one, but let's say that, and let me just, maybe this is going to be a good example for you to know how to use. So let's say that you want to create, you have your, your different angles and you can name this DM one. And let's say that this DM says, hey, it's, hey, hey, just look at your profile, good stuff. For example, of course, you can do this a little bit better, but you can make so DM1, so you create a snippet. Look at what's going to happen now. You can type DM1, and boom, all of a sudden you have this message that allows you to do a lot more volume faster. So what I would do is the following. I would do a DM1, and then I would create, let's say, DM2. By the way, just made a training on how to get clients want me to drop it here no worries either way both so guess what guys you can say the keyword is dm2 now guess what guys look at this you can look at how fast you can start doing outreach right now so you say dm1 and then dm2 boom you have now two different messages that you can just directly send to your prospects okay so this is just a quick demo on how to create them. You can do this, it literally this works literally the same way both on text-based and on Raycast, okay? But again, this is just how you can do that for cold prospecting in social media. For Facebook group joins, this is a good one. Let me just I'll do an actual example so you can see how, uh, well, again, this is not something that I typically do myself nowadays, but you can see when I used to have my Facebook group or when I used to book the appointments myself, I get, I get this guy in here his name is Quinton Glen Glencamp, okay? So I, we use the master CRM uh, Google Sheet. By the way, you can get this going to my Instagram and, and DMing me the word uh, access. We save the lead in the spreadsheet, okay? And then, guess what? We can, of course, approve him. I will not approve him right now because uh, I want to add his email to the email list, etc. But I can literally just be group one. Hey, Quinton. It's Enrique here from the Facebook group. Welcome to my community. Or I can say, because this is another thing, you want to create variations of the message so that you don't get in Facebook jail or, or banned from Instagram or LinkedIn or whatever platform you're using. So you can create group. Look at this, guys. So you can create, for example, in case, in, instead of group one, you can create group one and one. Look. Group one one. And then, boom. Look at this. You get a, a whole different message that allows you to, again, stay out of Facebook jail yeah, in this case. And the reason why you want to create Facebook, or in this case, group one and group one one, is because you don't want to use group two, because group two means the second message in the order. So it's always easier to know like, okay, group one means first message, and group one one means variation of the first message, but not the, the first one, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. The problem is that you're going to have variations for the second message or for the third message or whatever it might be, depending on how your sales process looks like. And this allows you to actually, um, well, have different variations and really fast, just know what you need to send, okay? So that's an, uh, an example on Facebook. Another one example can be for the replies to your ads or your inbound DMs, okay? Let's say that, again, you follow our auto-conversion funnel, either on Facebook or on Instagram or whatever it might be. 
So what you're going to notice is you're going to start having, you see, different people asking or replying to your ads. You can see all of these people are uh, leads. <laughs> I mean, we're having so many leads that I, we're really not keeping up with all of them. But you can see here, for example, this guy, Wayne. So look at how fast and how easy this process is. First of all, we accept his message, okay? So what we do is that we say something like, hey, Wayling, hope you're doing good. And then look at this. We use the paste app and we get them one of the different resources we have. And specifically in this app, we're giving them this one. So look, this is the actual plan. So this is the one. And then I can say Q1. For context, so you're scaling an offer right now or you're looking to launch one sometime soon. And then I might say, end one. Boom. Nice to meet you, by the way. And boom, that's literally it. Now I have a conversation going on. This way more natural. I can have different variations of each message so that I don't get in, in Facebook or, or Instagram, in this case. And from here, all we gotta do is save his username in his profile. Look, his username in his profile the link to the chat because that way whenever we need to do follow-ups we just click over here and we'll get directly to his chat okay boom very simple and this is a again this is a process that we use to make sure that we can maximize and, and just move way 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 faster across the sales process okay guys now this was for in for the initial conversation startups you can also do the same thing for your follow-ups so for the first follow-up you can use fu plus the number of the, the follow-up number you're looking for. So for example, let's say that I wanted to do first follow-up, FU, oh, sorry, <laughs> FU, FU1, boom, first follow-up. Or FU11, you see, boom. This is another, one, another variation of the first follow-up. Um, I don't know, let's say, because you need to start doing more follow-ups, we have two, three, four even variations per, per, per follow-up. So you can see, over here, the follow-up would be, hey dude, just making sure this one doesn't get buried. Okay, and again, this is for the first follow-up. Now for a second follow-up, again, two days after the first follow-up you did, you can have FU2, oh, FU22. You see, different variations. All of this is all, it, this is all about variation, guys. You need to make sure that you are not sending literally the same thing to everyone because that's what makes you banned and what allows you not to do as much um, volume in your day-to-day, -day, okay? Same thing goes for the third follow-up. You can see follow-up three, got me wondering, or follow-up three, three. Are you getting my DMs wrong? Made me wonder, haha. <laughs> you see? This is how you can move fast. This makes everything way more frictionless. And I, I, I always like to do a breakup follow-up. And this is like a, the fourth the, the four follow-up. Remember, you're always going to have the initial DM, then you have the first follow-up, then the second one, then the third one, and lastly, this one. So it's five touch points. In the last follow-up, we always like to use this one. Saying some, something like, hey, brother, really don't want to bother. I will just, we'll just leave my YouTube channel here if you want to start getting more value for free, then you feel ready to chat. I leave the link in there. Hope that everything's well. And that's it, okay? So again, this is just an example. Don't copy these scripts. These are the ones that I used to use in the past, but hopefully you get my point on how you can leverage these platforms and these different softwares that are free to literally 10x your sales productivity, okay? And the beauty is that you can change the actual scripts so that your entire teams is always managing the same um, angles at all times, okay? Again, these are for social media prospecting. If you're doing cold email, you can automate all of this process, but yeah, you get my point. Another thing that you can automate, frequently ask questions. So if you get asked a lot of times, like, hey, how much do you charge? And you don't want to reveal the price in chat, you can ask, add a shortcut like FAQ1. And that's going to reply a certain thing, so something along the lines of, hey man, we have different price points ranging from 1K to 10K. So it, it honestly is going to depend on what you're looking for. So how about if we talk more in depth sometime this week? I don't know, something like that, then you can automate all of that. Another thing that you can automate or, or have a shortcut for is for the common links that you share with your prospects. For example, your calendar link, your BSLs, the link to your Facebook group, et cetera, okay? And some other use cases that I want you guys to know just in case is, for example, uh, I use pretty much the same YouTube description for all of my videos. You can say something like YouTube. Boom. You see, we have a whole bunch of different shortcuts that we use for everything. Your email, this is a huge one, guys. Like, if I, I want you to think how much time have you wasted your entire life just typing your email on, on different software that you might sign up for or whatever. Look at this, guys. I just type add two times and look at what happens. Boom. I got my email in there. You see, it's, it literally saves so much time. For example, in, in, for your teams, you can 
uh, automate the end of the report. So you can have like a blank template and they just have to fill in there. We're needing to copy and paste everything every single time manually. Uh, for newsletters, this is something that I like to use with the paste tab. All of my newsletters and with uh, my call to actions on whatever it is, because I know that sometimes people are ready to buy, sometimes they are not, but I always plug my offers in there. So I always just type here whenever, because this is the only word that I have to remember, copy paste and boom. You see that the last part of my newsletter is always in there. So I just remember that and that's it. I don't have to be doing a whole bunch of random stuff just to make sure that um, I got everything on point, okay? And yeah, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Again, excuse me for just making a quick loom, but again, it's just a <laughs> been way too busy. I just want to make sure that I keep the squad show consistent for you guys. And yeah, let me know your thoughts on this video. Let me know if you found it helpful. By the way, if you want to launch or scale your done for you marketing offer or a B2B coaching slash consulting company, go ahead and book a call with me or my team with the link that you will be finding in the description. And as always, today's music recommendation is going to be Nunca Voy Solo by Kea and Milo Jota. This is an amazing song, guys. Actually, let me show you. As a matter of fact, what I just did there is a life example of how to use this platform. But you can see here, I have it in my live songs. And it's, I mean, because I listen way too much music, so you can see that I always update my playlist. By the way, let me know if I should make my playlist available and just uh, share it with all of you guys. Since, I mean, really, you can see here, for me, listening to music is one of the biggest pleasures of life and literally all day when I'm not on calls and when I'm not recording these bangers for you guys, I'm listening to music, right? So let me know if I should make like a public playlist or something so that you guys can listen to my same music, okay guys? Just not to let you guys know that this is actually true. Um, for the VAs and the appointment centers that we place in our clients' companies, a big thing that we do is if you go to the guide section, this is where we actually have all of our uh, VAs, appointment centers, etc. It's literally, let me show you learning how to use text base to double their inputs in half of the time. So what we do with, the, with our VAs is we literally show them how they need to use this we, uh, to our clients. We show them how to create their own SOPs and their own angles inside of text base or Raycast so that by the time that the, they have the VA doing outreach, they can basically smoke 100, 150, 200 Avon DMs per day while paying their VA just $3 per hour and the VA maybe just needs to work two to three hours, okay? So yeah, guys, hopefully this makes sense. I hope that you found this one helpful and see you guys in the next one. Bye.